going on guys? This is Joey over at Catskill Studio. Frankie on camera. Uh, today we were going to do a little demo on the Electra Voice RE20, a classic broadcast and radio mic. You'll see it on ESPN. If you watch any podcasts, a lot of people are using this. Um, total classic. Really, really cool features. It'll run you about around 450 It seems a little pricey, but for what you're getting, I mean, it's totally worth the money. Um, a lot of people... Go for the, the Shure SM7B because that's another dynamic broadcast mic. Um, it just doesn't have the that classic warmth that the RE20 brings. There's something about that low end. It's more sweet. It's more velvety. And it really gives that radio voice that people look for. And it's not just for voice. People shove this in kick drums. People use it on acoustic guitars. And not only that, I'm going to switch it right now so you can hear it. But there's a... Uh, there's a bass roll off, so you could hear what that sounds like. Check, check, check. It really kills the lows if you have a problem with building rumble, or if you, you know what I mean. If you're just getting too much thud and too much oomph in what you're doing, switch it over. I'm gonna go back to normal now. Another thing about this mic, the rejection from the rear because it's a cardioid pattern is insane. You can almost hear nothing from the rear. As far as high frequency goes, it almost picks up nothing. Maybe a little bit of rumble. I was looking at the frequency response graph, and I think any usually things around under 700 hertz will make it to the make it to the mic. But it's really not that big of a deal. You really can't hear anything. And like I said, if that is a problem, you hit that bass roll off. You're not getting anything. So when you first open the box, it comes in this white cardboard box. But you're going to notice when you get to the inside, it actually comes in a nice hard uh, Electro Voice carrying case, which is awesome because. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to break their microphones. These things are really expensive and they're very temperamental. Everyone, you know, who's into audio knows that. Uh, another really cool thing about this is, um, like I was saying before, with some of the features, with the bass roll off, it's awesome. Not only that, this thing is like almost immune to pops and sibilance. It a little bit gets through. It's impossible to eliminate proximity effect, to effect totally. But, I mean, this thing does a great job at it. Uh, the, the built-in windscreening is 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 great. You, you're you know you're gonna hear it in this recording. Um, I can't wait to try it out on some other stuff. I, I you know I haven't thrown it in a kick drum yet. I can't wait to because I know it's a classic kick drum mic as well. And I was reading in the in the pamphlet that that it sounds good on acoustic guitar, and I I've never heard of anyone doing that. But if they if they say it's good for that, I can't wait to try it out. Yeah, it does, it, the only thing that it comes with is a a mic stand clip and the microphone and the carrying case. That's it. So uh, if you needed a, a pop filter or, you know, or foam, you're going to have to buy that aftermarket. So I got mine from Sweetwater. Like I said, it's around $450. Totally worth it. I mean, this is a warm, well-rounded microphone. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. This is Joey at Catskill Studio, and have a good day.